Hi everyone, it's time for another exciting food review. This time it's going to be Yople Protein. Yople. This is peach. Peach being one of my favorite, it is my favorite fruit, I guess. So it's just another way, some of the different ways I'm exploring to find the protein. I hope you will like my video. Maybe I should describe it a little bit. So this each one of these has it's one serving that has 15 grams. There are only three grams of sugar in here. It costs a dollar a dollar thirty nine cents before tax. Dairy snack. Well, it doesn't really say that it's yogurt, does it? But I mean, that's what we all call it. It's a it's a dairy snack. Golly, Sergeant Carter. All right. I put it in the freezer for about ten, maybe fifteen minutes because I have some funny feelings about yogurt. I'm not even a real big fan of it exactly, unless it's the, the kind that has the 38 grams of sugar. What does that call it? used to be Dannon, and our Publix also makes something like that. So I love that, the fruit on the bottom, the fruit on the bottom yogurt, I love that. But I'm trying to be healthier, you know, avoid so much sugar. So those other yogurts that I love have maybe like 38 grams of sugar in a serving. And these have, I think it was three grams. That's like a 13 times as much sugar in one serving of the fruit on the bottom yogurt. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open this up. Funny, doesn't it? You, I mean, it's upright like that, but you open it here on the top, right? And I tried some yo plate before, maybe like a, a couple of months ago. What kind of is that? Was key lime because I love key lime pie and I like it. You know, the smell also from yogurt is, it puts some people off. I guess it's that fermentation or something. I, I mean, it's a step away from cheese, right? So I'm going to put it here onto the plate. Let you see it here. Keep a little piece in there to, so it'll get on, so it'll stay cool. There's some little peach pieces in here, but I, I want to show you. By the time I dig these out, it's going to be almost all of it anyway. Okay. Oh, here we are. So I can't even, they're like little, a few little teeny pieces of peaches in here. And I put them in here just now, and now I can't find them. Oh my gosh, I can't find them. So here we are anyway. Yeah. Okay. Let's give it a try. First time trying Yoplait protein peach flavored dairy dessert. I can already tell, considering this yogurt and everything, it's a four out of, taste wise, a four out of five or five out of five.
Remember, it's all kind of subjective. So if you don't like a particular food, you're probably going to give it a lower rating. I mean, you won't like it as, as well. I wish they had more of the of the peach pieces in here. They're just so tiny. I can't even find the, the two I was going to show you. I would say maybe five out of five, giving it the benefit of the doubt. I mean, there's some things I like better than, I'm going to call it yogurt. It says here it's a dairy dessert, but to me, hey, it's, it's yogurt. It doesn't have an overpowering yogurt smell. It's very rich and creamy, which is a couple of the most, one of the most overused phrases in food reviews and taste testing, rich and creamy. But I mean, hey, it is. There's a nice close-up of it, of it for you. As Andy Griffith might have said, it's good and good for you too. Nutritionally, I'm going to give it a, well, I haven't really looked at the nutrition yet. Let's take a look at it right now. I can leave my glasses off. No, it's better with them on now. A year ago, it would have been no problem. But now I need my glasses. Okay. 100 calories. Let's see, a gram of saturated fat. 15 milligrams of cholesterol. Isn't it easier to, re to relate according to the percentages that somebody percentage of your daily value instead of grams sugars three grams with zero added so the way they calculate that is it's zero percent and here's the protein it's the main thing we're looking for it's 15 grams 30 percent of your daily percent daily value and it's got a bunch of calcium like 35 percent Good, good, good. Okay, going on around here. There's no artificial flavors, no calories from artificial, artificial sources. No high fructose corn syrup. Excellent source of calcium. We just saw that. Gluten free with live and active cultures. I want my cultures to be live, and I want them to be active. The ingredients are now cultured, pasteurized, ultra-filtered, non-fat milk, cultured, pasteurized, reduced fat milk, and it has some other stuff here, kosher gelatin, hmm. and some chemicals, of course, that they put in here, why we don't really know, like sucralose and potassium sorbate, grade A, keep refrigerated, and this is manufactured in MPLS, Minneapolis. Minneapolis, I guess, right? Minneapolis, so there you are. And it's peach, which means I really like it. Hmm. 
I was going to have a little piece of it later. Let it get cool again in the refrigerator. But I think it's pretty cool inside this little container. And it's so good, I want to finish it now. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa. Oh, there's a little peach thing. Is it? Or is it just a shadow? I mean, I can't tell. But fine, when I'll let you know. You'll be the first to know. I keep thinking I see them. Or is it my eyes? So there, I got a bunch, of, a bunch of good protein and calcium for today. Mm. So I hope you liked the video and let me know in the comments if you've tried this before. You can subscribe if you will and ring the little bell to be notified of uploads. The usual thing, oh yeah, like the video, you can do that I guess. So just click over there, you know, you can like it. I'm making this just a, a few days before the 2024 election. So just a quick word about it. You know, no matter who wins the election, probably about half the country is going to be unhappy. As if you're looking at the top of the ticket, and even some of the down home, the, the, the downstream races there, it's so evenly divided. So no matter what, Half the people are maybe going to be mad at the other half. Of course, I hope they won't really be. We all have to, we all have to survive here and, and try to make everything better. So try not to get angry at people because at the half of the country that they voted the other way. I mean, there are some marginal candidates out there that won't get much vote, and some people won't vote at all. Um, and I actually considered being one of those. So I'm not going to say more because if I talk about it more, half of the people watching this will be mad at me no matter what I do. So I won't say any more. Just uh, try to, to um, get along if that's something we can do. And I'll tell you, good day and peace out.